A painting is an equation. It's a hundred or a thousand decisions on one side of an equal sign. And on the other side of the equal sign is the finished painting. Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me in this Evolve student vlog, a place where I talk about my art journey specifically with the Evolve online program, express my feelings and experiences, and you know, all that good stuff. I really appreciate you lending an ear while you create or go about your day. This is episode six. Please feel free to check out my previous episodes if you like, but for now, let's talk a little bit about block two. In this block, we learn all about painting from observation, but without color, which in hindsight was really interesting to do, and I think a fabulous exercise for really grasping values and their relationships to each other. I mean, I can honestly tell that by doing all these exercises in just grayscale, it's really helped me grasp and hone in my skills of identifying values more accurately. And it's not even like there's a thousand videos to watch, it's more so just the constant practice and the consistency in just training your eye to see value. However, now we're adding in measurement, converting color to grayscale from life, and in a way, creating compositions. Now, disclaimer, I don't believe the course ever talks or teaches about composition, but we're setting up our own still life, so in a way, we're also practicing finding compositions that are appealing to us, but without instruction, which is absolutely okay in my opinion, because composition and what you paint is more of a personal preference and not necessarily crucial crucial to technical training, and again, that's in my own opinion. I personally don't want to learn about composition so much anymore, and the reason why I've decided to not deep dive into it or find a formula is that I fear that if I go too deep into learning about composition, then my eye or my brain will be sabotaged. For example, I paint what I like, and if I see something interesting or if I put something together, I don't want the knowledge of proper composition, you know, quote unquote, proper composition, to stop me from painting something that I find interesting because in my head, I'm just looking for what other people say make good paintings instead of what I think makes a good or interesting painting. And that's something I really want to avoid. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do when it comes to learning the basics, but I'm not in a rush to figure that out just yet. And I'm going to let my artistic eye take course. And that's just my preference for now. So we went on a flea market field trip where I found some collectible plates, one of the Sound of a Music. I'm not a huge fan of the movie or anything, but the meme brings me joy, so it was a must-have. And then I found another one of Norman Rockwell, and of course I wasn't going to skip out on this one because it just looks so cool. It has some of his most famous works, and he's holding his brushes and a dowel in the chair, and I just, I, I loved it immediately. I also got five little statues for about a dollar each no they were a dollar each they were five for for five dollars and these are the things that i plan to put in my still life box for future assignments i do want to head back to the flea market and hopefully find some more cool interesting stuff to paint i came across julie b creative not too long ago on instagram and i really really enjoy her work as well as the interesting setups that she does so i'm definitely going to keep my eyes on the lookout for interesting little pieces that resonates or at least leaves a special impression to me another thing that i'm constantly battling with that really doesn't have anything to do with the program is how tight i want my paintings to be as much as I would love to one day reach the skill level of Julie, a part of me still gravitates to loosened brush marks, and I'd love to find a blend of the two. Maybe have certain parts of my paintings that blend like butter, while other parts completely fall apart the closer that you look at it. I'm going to start painting with that in mind, like with that intention, and just experiment and find what feels right. A painting is never just a painting. It is a culmination of all of the decisions that you've made along the way. So while you're working, each stage along the way, really think about what you're doing. Like, look at each part. Don't rush. Beautiful paintings are, are they're, they're crafted within your skill set. Wouldn't you want to produce the best painting possible to represent you? Don't treat these like they're exercises. Treat them like they are 
they are the final art because they are. And if you think of them as exercises, that's all they'll ever be. Where if you start treating them these right now as if they're important finished works, the quality of your work is going to be elevated just by that change in your thinking. I'm going to have to redo this part because as I was editing, I thought that I had already, I don't know, I guess edited this part of the video, the unboxing part. Well, it turns out I deleted that entire unboxing. So now I have to relive this unboxing basically to show you what comes in the box for block three and four. So let's just go over the materials that we were sent. So the first thing we have are two canvas pads, nine by 12. They were the regular canvas pads that we received before, which I have somewhere over there. Great, so I'm not ready for this. So we received two more of these canvas pads, nine by 12. I have them over there somewhere. Um, but we received two more of those. There's 10 sheets in each one, so that's 20 new canvas sheets. We also received eight sheets of gray toned canvas. They are also 9 by 12 and these are for block 4. Here is my reference images for block 3 and my transfer packet for block 3. These are everything that I'm going to be transferring. These are my reference photos for block 4 and my transfer images for block four. So many beautiful, cool paintings in here. And we received a, another palette paper pad, which I'm not really using. I'm using the glass palette right now, but this is a more palette paper pad, which is cool to have. And then we received our paints. We have set one, two, three, and four. And then we have a titanium white. These up. Here's set one, set two. Set three comes with two Naples yellow and set four. The colors that we have are yellow light, red light, Crimson Lake Deep Extra, Old Holland Yellow Green, Permanent Green, Blue Light, Ultramarine Blue, Burnt Umber, Mars Black, and English Red. And then two Naples Yellow. But this isn't really ordered the right way. At least not the way the list is reading it. Should I order them the way the, rest the list has it? Okay, so... This is the way it has it over there. This is how I'm gonna keep it here because, yeah. I think it's supposed to be one Naples yellow over here to keep these three, then I don't know. But this is the way I'm gonna keep it. It doesn't say anything on these packets either. So I'm gonna leave it listed the way that it comes on our materials sheet. I'm probably not going to keep them in here though. I don't know because we have a, a list that tells us how we have to set them up on the palette. So I'm gonna put it in that order whenever I get to that, because I don't think I, I have to go on through the homework tool. And then we received an extra titanium white, a nice big old tube. Now besides these paints, which I'm really excited to get into, but I have to go clean out my palette, we received an Evolve brush set. So we got a brand new brushes. Um, these are some of my old brushes too, but I believe we received some of these. And then we also received new brushes with this little brush pack thing. But inside we have the good brushes. We have two fan brushes, one in four, one in two. We have two number one round brushes, 
two number two round brushes and two number two filbert brushes. So these are going to be added on to the pack. And that was everything inside the box. Kind of sucks that um, I deleted that footage. Anyway, I look forward to seeing your work. And um, next stop is block three, color. So let's get through this and um, we're moving on to color. With all that being said, thank you so much for joining me in this video. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.